Today I'm going to show you how to make techno music in the style of Paul Kalkbrenner. Paul Kalkbrenner or Kalkbrenner is known for his really emotional techno music. It's quite simple and stripped back but always hits those, those chords of the heart. And he's an artist I've had so many requests for from you guys and some of my masterclass students have requested it too and they always kept first dibs. You can download all of the project files and the samples for this completely free below the video so check that out. We will be going into the kick and bass a tom drum techno groove from a synthesizer. We will be going into some techno percussion. Some really emotional chords from scratch. and loads more stuff including finding vocals as well. On a side note, I was interviewed a few weeks ago by a guy called Neil Coots for The Neil Coots Show. So if you want to know a bit about my background and how I started in music production and some of the difficulties I've kind of overcome, check it out, click the link below for that as well. And without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, Paul Kalkpreiner. Let's do it. First thing I'm gonna do is get a kick going and I want to build a groove up with this and that's kind of a good technique for techno and especially Paul's sound. It's very emotional and, you know, it's clearly not contrived. It's, it's just kind of emerged. So whether you start with a kick or whether you start with chords, things like that depends on what you're feeling, whether you've got the idea for some chords in your mind already or whether you just want to build something up from scratch and see what happens. That's quite a nice deep kick. So let's go with that. And I'm just going to make sure that's not bleeding over into the second part of the beat, just so it's a bit tighter. And I will copy and paste that on every beat because it's techno in it. Let's name this bad boy. Actually, I'm going to call this tech. No prisoners, techno prisoners, baby. And I'm going to put this to about 125 BPM. I'll take the volume down so we don't get clipping on the master channel. So let's build a tom drum from scratch. And I'm going to do this using a synth. I'm going to use this using the just the basic operator. And I'm going to make a little techno tom and start programming in a tom sound. So all I want to do is basically turn the sustain right down and we're just going to use the decay. That's it. There, there's my tom. So I'm going to program in a little loop in that very simple pattern. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that. Just duplicate it, Command and D. Next thing I'm going to do is add some stereo width and interest to that. So I'm going to use a delay and I'm going to use the harsh effect. So I'll just turn off the sync, turn on ping pong, turn feedback right down, and then it's going to spread out that sound left and right. And now I'm going to create a secondary tom track, which is going to basically just get the groove going. And then we are going to build the chords on top of that. So um, I'm going to turn off this harsh delay effect. Delete those. Whoops, I've turned it Turn it's triplet. So this is all I'm going to do. Copy and paste it. And with this one, I'm going to add some room reverb. And you can see I've got three auxiliary channels set up, which you can set up by going up to create, insert, return track. 
And the room reverb is basically just a reverb with a short decay time. I've boosted up the volume with a utility and taken out the low end with an EQ. And I'm going to do this on my secondary tom. So you can hear we've already got a bit of a techno groove going. So what am I going to do next? Let's look at my magic thing. My, I'm going to do the chords. So for Paul Kalkbrenner, um, he's got lovely emotional chords in his tunes uh, like Castle and Sky or S Sky and Sand, can't remember what it's called, his biggest track anyway. Um, so I'm just going to load up an organ sound and I'm going to just jam something out basically. Now I do have a really cool resource that a friend of mine, Nico Catullus, has put together. It's his um, ultimate MIDI pack. Let's have a quick look at that. Well, firstly, I'll get the sound. So I'm going to just search for organ and I want to do this using stock plugins as well um, because it's so you can do it with Ableton without having to buy any fancy plugins. Uh, so let's go piano. So let's have a listen to this. So we're just going to start with this sound and build in our chords. And something like that. But as I was saying, if you've got this, uh, let's see, sample pack. So Nico's Ultimate MIDI Pack, you can get it for a big discount below this video. It is an affiliate link and I do get a kickback, but it's because like, I barely ever do affiliate stuff, but it's such a good MIDI pack. I've got a MIDI pack myself on EDM tips and it's nowhere near as good as this, to be perfectly frank, this is excellent. So you can just drag in a really cool couple of chord progressions. Um, so that is one way to do it. I'm actually going to draw it in manually, but if you are not wanting to do that, or if you don't have music production skills, uh, sorry, like music theory skills, that Nico's pack's worth checking out. So the next thing I'm going to do is play what I was playing. And I'll show you how to draw this out. So first thing you can do is draw in all the notes of the key that you're working in. So first chord was F. So it's probably in the key of F major, natural. So it's almost all the white notes, but okay, this is the easier way to do it. If you draw in all the white notes from C, then you get C major, natural, like so. But I want to write this track in F major natural. So all you have to do is grab them all and then press up until the first one's on F. And then because the intervals are the same for each major key, you've now got F major natural. So I'm going to copy those down, I'll copy them up as well. So we've got three, and I'm going to press fold. And now we've got three octaves of F major natural. I'll grab them all, press across to get them out of the clip. And now you can start drawing in your bass notes first. And any of these notes are going to work. So that is my chord progression. And now I can start building up the chords by um, basically just missing one of these notes each time. Miss a note there, miss a note there. And you can tweak them afterwards. but we might not have to.
And to make this really ethereal, I'm going to feed in some of this reverb that's on the second channel. So we've got room reverb, then we've got hall reverb, which has got much longer decay time. So it's really good to get like the Paul Kalkbrenner sound has usually got some really nice vocals on it. So what I would do after writing this track would be to send it to a proper vocalist rather than trying to get sounds from Splice. But that's all I'm going to do today because I don't have a vocalist in my room with me. Do I? No. Nah. So we're going to have to use Splice. Um, let's write in the bass notes first, though. And I'm just going to have them follow the kick. Oh, no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some like techno stab. So this is going to add texture and this is super important, um, especially when it comes to techno, you get this kind of hypnotic rhythm going. So we've already got that with the toms. I might slow it down a tiny bit. I don't know why it's delete all signature changes. I like that more. So in terms of this sound, I'm going to get a simpler Bosch. I'm going to get a sample and I'm going to get a sampled chord. So it's already been played. Um, so let's go to my keys and organs. So there's already a chord being played. And that's a classic techno. Um, techno trick is to use a sample chord and play a rhythm on it. But firstly, I've got to stop the whole sample playing because it's a long sample if we listen. And we just want to get one of those notes. So I'll turn sustain off and I'm just going to use decay. And that's going to be my chord stamp. So that's that's got that techno sound, but I just want one note. So let's play along and groove. Now I'm going to record that rhythm because it follows the tom, but I'm also not going to quantize it. I'm going to play it in because uh, Paul Kalkbrenner's music isn't always completely quantized and it gives it a lovely human feel to it. The first one was a bit dodgy, so I'm just going to copy that one and put it there. You know, and if you were way off, you could select them all, open the quantize um, thing in Ableton and decide to quantize it maybe like 30% of the way there. So it doesn't bring them perfectly in time, but it does tighten it up a little bit. So let's add a filter on here, a low pass filter. So it's more textural than anything else. And then I'm going to add a delay. And the delay I'm going to use today is um, a filter delay. So this basically gives you three different delay timings, which will start, you know, really sounding quite techno y straight away. And then if we add some room reverb, we start to get some real, you know, texture. And then we can bring in the organ. Now that kick, we might tone it down. Usually in a dance track, you'd like to have the biggest, punchiest kick available, but going to tone it down a bit because it's more it's more like a song than anything else uh, so we don't want that kick so overbearing so i've just taken out some of the low end with an eq 
All right, let's see. I'm going to add a bit of a techno groove. And rather than programming in uh, normal drums, which I will for the clap, I'm going to do something just, again, interesting to... This is about experimentation when it comes to building a techno groove or a techno loop. So I'm going to go to some drum loops, uh, maybe some old ones. So this, I don't know if this is going to work, so I'm going to pull it in. And I'm not going to use that whole beat in a way that you might expect. So let's first get it warped correctly. It's 120. So so rather than use that whole beat, I'm just going to offset it and use a little bit of it. I'm just going to use that bit. And that's going to be my kind of rhythmic groove. And I'm going to make it sit further back in the mix. Maybe it works better if it is on the half um, kind of offbeat. I'm going to add some saturation in front of the EQ just to fatten it up a bit. Add some room reverb. So this is the beat on their own at the moment. just to add that underlying techno uh, kind of groove to it. So I'll leave that in. I'd probably actually experiment with a few other ones, but that's fine at the moment. And then I'll color that green because much like in my last video where cyan is the color of plucks, green is the color of kicks. So don't forget to download this project file, all the samples below and grab Nico's MIDI pack as well. If you want to check that out. So this is the kind of sound that you could automate the fre frequency on to, as the track progresses. And I'm just doing it manually here at the moment. And now let's find, yeah, let's program in the bass notes then. So stabs, I'm going to color you blue because you're a musical element. Um, and Bass, I'm going to put up there. So let's just follow the bass notes of the organ chords, and then that is all good in the hood. Don't know why it's not allowing me to create a MIDI clip for some reason. So what I'm going to do is get that. I don't know why it wouldn't let me make a MIDI clip there. Um, but actually that's quite handy because then I've already got the bass notes written in. So let's just delete the top notes from each chord. Let's get the bass sound. Let's make it from scratch actually with a synth. Um, although you could use a sample for this as well. So let's use operator. I'll just do a simple sine wave at first. So let's, let's okay. My MIDI keyboard stopped working. The joys of live video, the joys of live video, or it's not live when you're watching it, but whatevs. There we go. So, and we're just going to have a beat.
And don't worry, this will sound more bassy in a minute. I'm just drawing in the pattern first and the notes. Like so, and I'm going to just grab those all with Command A, put it down an octave. And it's playing as the kick plays, and I'm just going to tweak it to be a bit more plucky. So take the sustain down and just use the decay as we did with the tom. I'm going to make sure that it's only got one voice though, so one bass note doesn't overlap the next one. We could even soften this funky organ more and make it really sit back and sound really ethereal by adding the reverb onto the channel and just putting 100% wet. So let's turn it off on the aux channel. I like that more. Now let's add the clap. So to do this, I'm going to find two different claps and I'm going to just pro process them left and right, or rather pan them left and right, just to give it some stereo width. So if we go to drum hits and we get some claps, uh, quite short, snappy ones, I think. Those two, and then program them in. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take, I'm going to hold a command and shift it slightly in front of the other clap, just to give it a bit more of a human feel, a bit less on the grid. And I'm going to copy and paste that. Whoops. Hmm. Take them down in volume a little bit. Uh, minus six on each, I think. Pan one left, pan one right. going to EQ the organ a little bit, take out the low end, nice, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add a bit of a melody. Now this won't be playing, or this wouldn't be playing all through this track, this would just kind of happen later on. Um, and we're going to find a vocal as well. It's going to be a bit hard, as I said, just using Splice or Loop Cloud. Um, you would really want a singer to be doing this properly. So let's go to Sounds, Guitar, Plucked. I just want a short, plucky kind of sound. That's quite weird. Let's see what happens if we write a melody in that. Quite, 
quite techno-y. So let's add an EQ to that, take out the low end. And we're gonna add a nice delay on that. And I'm gonna sweep this little control here just to have the, make the delay slightly out of time. And it just adds a bit more of an organic sound. And then we're gonna write this in F major natural. Could be a bit, bit, bit much, but let's see anyway. So again, this is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to kind of tap into to the emotions of making this track just from a loop. Um, and this would be used sparingly, this melody. I might try a different sound, actually. Uh, it's a bit, bit too weird. Let's see what this one's like. Uh, no, let's try something else. I'd actually use a different synth, really. I'd probably use an Archeria synth, maybe. Um, oh, that's quite cool. Yeah. It's a bit like a Kyoto, a Koto, sorry. And we'll add some reverb to that on the Orcs. Actually, we'll use the uh, Hall reverb. And I'm just going to record that in. But again, you could use the template technique, draw in all the notes, press fold, and then if you write the melody using only those notes, then you're not going to go far wrong. So I'm actually going to choose that first sound again because I because I liked how weird it was. But I'm going to normalize the uh, velocity a bit. E eek! Let's turn that bad boy down. Oh, that was loud. So in terms of finding a vocal, I'm going to go to Splice and I know what uh, key this is in because I wrote it. It's in the key of F major. So let's just kind of preview some. I'll turn that melody off for the time being. Turn this down a bit. Um, let's see. This is a nice sample pack. 
Dana so I think that's how you, her name's spelled. Uh, okay. Vocals, that didn't get found for some reason. F, major, female, and let's just have a listen. We're only in love, only in love. See, these are a bit cheesy for techno. You need something really emotive. I did spell her name correctly. Right, F major. So I found someone here that sounded quite nice the other day. I don't need no one else. Oh, 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 oh. And the drums go. But on. That's quite nice, so let's just take that. But it would probably be a whole song, as I said before. But we're just going to copy and paste this in there. Somebody. And it's 100 BPM. So just make sure we warp it to 100. Use complex. Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me why. And let's see if we can find a second part to that. That's quite nice. Somebody Whoops, wrong one. Oops a daisy. Oopsie. 105. Okay, that's cool. And then put some whole reverb on there. And let's listen for some of those frequencies that are a bit harsh. I'm going to change this last note actually. Like so, using the transpose and blend them in slightly. Not the perfect vocal for this really, but that's the kind of, you know, vibe for the rest of the music. And then you could bring the melody in later in on the arrangement. I'm actually going to quantize this because it's, it's too far out. So I'll quantize it to 80%. And you could even add your open hats as well. So let's just add a kind of ride symbol in there, like so. That one will do. And we're going to make this a bit more interesting as well. So let's just add this in every other beat, turn it down. So let's just copy paste this. First, we're going to tune it to the track. Just 
this by ear. Choose one voice, voice, so we're not having ride symbols overlapping other ride symbols. And then let's just add a little bit of delay uh, just to make it a bit more interesting. So then you've got some stereo spread on that now. But as I said, you'd need a really a whole vocal to go over that. But that is my idea. That's how I would generate a Paul Kalkbrenner style tune. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, download all of the samples and the project file below this. And until next time, cheers and happy producing.